Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for tutormarsh.com. Today our lesson is calendar in Primavera basics. To access calendar in Primavera, you have to click enterprise, then go to calendar and press add. Calendar is very important in project because scheduling is done based on it. In Primavera, you can create and assign calendars to each resource, each project and each activity. Three types of calendar pools are available in Primavera so called global pool, project pool and resource pool. Now let's see what are these pools. So look at this example. Here I have included EPS, project, activities and resources. Navic Solution is a company got two major departments called as construction and training. Construction includes two departments called high rise building and bridge construction. And let's imagine that currently there are two ongoing projects called as Project 1 and Project 2 that is happening under high rise building. And Project 1 contains two major activities and Activity 1 need two resources to work on it. So this is a sample structure that can be created in Primavera. So hope you understood this structure. Now let's say if you create a calendar in global pool that calendar will be followed by your EPS, project, activities and resources. And if you create a calendar in project pool, this will be followed by the projects, activities and resources. At last the calendar that you create in resource pool will be followed by your resources. So that's the difference between global, project and resource pool. Now let's see an exercise calendar. I'm gonna name it as project renovation of residential building calendar. This project will run on a daily schedule that starts at 8 a.m. and finish by 5 p.m. and having a lunch break at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and every Sunday is holiday and have another three public holidays on January 1st, it's New Year, July 18, 2015 is Eid al-Fitr and December 25, 2015 is Christmas. And one exception date is on January 25 where the project will work only from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So the planned or expected working hours per time period is the project will work 8 hours a day. So for a week 8 times 6 makes 48 hours and there will be 26 working days in a month. So 26 times 8 makes 2 or 8 hours a month and 2 or 8 times 12 months makes 2496 hours in a year. Now I'm gonna open Primavera to demonstrate this calendar. So please watch closely and understand the procedure to make calendar in P6. Open Primavera and go to Enterprise and click on Calendars. Now a new window will appear. Here you can see the global pool resource pool and project pool. Project is not active because there is no project is currently active. Now go to global. Here you can see the default calendars in Primavera. To create a new calendar you can press add. Now you can see a window select calendar to copy from. Means in this window you have to select a reference calendar. So I select standard 5 day and press select button. Now rename the calendar to residential renovation project renovation of residential building then press enter after that click default. Now onwards the new project you create will follow this calendar. Now press modify you can see a new window here you can see your calendar Sunday and Saturday is holiday you can see the legends. Now you can see total working hours per day is 8 hours and non working is 0 hours. So to modify this calendar you can go to detail work hours per day and go to work week. So here a new window appear calendar weekly hours select Monday to Saturday and select the working hours that is 8 am to 5 pm. Here every box represent 30 minutes. Okay. After that, press oh, work. 
then select 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and press non work because this is lunch break after that select Sunday and select all the working hours and press non work then press OK the next step is the next step is to create the public holidays so the first public holiday is July 18 that is Eid al Fitr select that particular date and press non work after that go to December 25 it's Christmas press non work go to January 1st press non work and there is an exception in January 25 that is we work only from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. press that particular date and go to detailed work hours per day and select the working time that is 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now you can see 25 there is a color change white color means exception now go back to total work hours per day you can see it's 8 hours set up the time periods by clicking time periods and enter the values manually 8 hours per day 48 hours per week 208 hours per month and 2496 hours per year now press ok so we have created our calendar after that close it so hope you understood this session please mail your doubts to tomash at gmail.com thanks for watching